A reading from Psalm 73. May his holy blessings be with us always. Amen. I tell you the truth. God is good to our land, to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet almost slipped. I had nearly lost my grip. For I envied arrogant people when I saw how well off the people of darkness were. They had no struggles or worries. Their bodies were healthy and strong. They were free from common human burdens. No plagues were among them or any human ills. So pride is their necklace. The clothes they wear them for themselves are violence. For their calloused hearts come darkness. Their evil imaginations have no limit. They laugh and speak with malice. With such pride. With such over self-esteem they threaten opposition. Their mouths lay claim to heaven and their tongue takes possession of the earth. So these people turn to them and drink up waters in abundance. They say, how would God know? Does the Most High know anything? This is what the wicked, this is what dark people are like. Always free of care, they go on amassing wealth. But I tell you the truth, in vain I have kept my heart pure and have washed my hands in innocence. Every moment I have been afflicted and every morning brings new punishments. If I had spoken out like that, I would have betrayed your children. When I tried to understand all this, I troubled, it troubled me from the inside deeply to I I entered the prayer room of my God. Then I understood their final destiny. Surely you place them on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruins. How suddenly are they destroyed, completely swept away by terrible, terrible things. They are like a dream when one wakes up. When you get up, Lord, you will despise them as mere fantasies. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was like a, like a mere animal before you. Yet I am always with you. You hold me. By my right hand, you guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me to your glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing, nothing I want besides you. My flesh, my, my body and heart might fail, but my God will be my might. The strength of my heart and my portion for all time. Those who are far off, you will die. You will de you destroy all who are undependable, who, who are unfaithful to you. As for me, it is good to be close to you, God. I have made the sovereign master my protector, and I will tell of all his wonders.